Hi everybody, typical Indy here for the second game of the second part of my five games to pick from. Just a refresher, Blueberry Garden is still the first one. But anyway, this is Paranormal. It is a indie game developed by one guy. I would say his name, but I don't want to mispronounce it. Matt's his first name, I know that much for sure. It's called... Sorry, I just drew a blank there for some reason. But anyway, Paranormal is a haunted house simulator built with the Unreal Engine. I had previous experience playing it before on Desiree, so it's not too uncommon to me. For this recording, I will play the shortened version of the game. There is a longer version. If you guys like it and want to pick it out of the five games I'll record, then I'll play the longer version. Although I don't think I can get too many playthroughs, or no, not playthroughs, parts out of the game, though. Well, that's about it. Hopefully nothing will mess up. This is my second time recording it. <laughs> well, actually, third time. And, yeah, that's about it. Let's begin. I think I turned off camera shake. It's like my only complaint about this game. If it's not off, then I guess you can't turn it off. That sucks if that's the case. Quick warning. It's uh, Friday, July 1st, 2011. Hello, my name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist, and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. Lately, things have been going bump in the night. A lot. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. This, oh, yeah, is studio. The mode. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I picked those up at Amazon. They help me visualize the 3D space when I'm working on my sculptures. There's some works in progress over there on the mat. Hopefully something will happen here in a second. I'm really trying to show that this is real and that I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. Oh yeah, this is also a early access game. So although the build's stable now, there's definitely more to come with the game. And kind of place. There we go. Ooh, mannequin. Firework shows. So, America, do your best to impress me. This is the graveyard shift. Enjoy this next song, my friends. If anyone uh, recognizes that voice on the radio, feel free to comment. A little trivia there. I definitely know it, and it's pretty cool he's in the game. Don't know the person personally, but I know who it is. Check the kitchen now. Hmm. Oh yeah, and since this is an early access game, if anything else, oh, I get stuck. If anything else uh, gets added that's like really significant, and you guys pick this game, oh camera shake's still there, then I will definitely upload any new stuff as well.
Take a little collectible over there. The keyword cooperates. Yay! this Ouija board. Batteries are getting low. I better charge it when I go to bed tonight. Is that the bathroom door? Creepy baby! Hi, creepy baby! August 11th, 1984. I'm not alone in this house. I can feel Marcus watching. He knows about Jeremy. He knows about the baby. I'd never been a religious woman, but I need Christ right now more than ever. August 23rd. 1984. I woke up this morning only to find Jeremy dead in the bathtub. The water was red with blood. Marcus did this. He killed his own brother. My only reason for living is the baby within my womb. September 2nd, 1984. The lights keep flickering. The banging noises won't let up. The doors keep slamming. Marcus is angry. September 7th, 1984. I wish he... Oops, sorry, I had to cut that off. I think you get the picture, though. Get the collectible fish. Thank you. Come on, please go to the bed. Uh, I think it crashed. No! I think it crashed or I'm stuck. Either way, neither of that's good. Here we go. Good. Perfect. No. No audio problems yet. Besides, uh, how overpowering my voice is. Compared to... I was kind of afraid something was going to pop up there for a second. Compared to the game volume, hopefully it'll come out better on YouTube. And there's somebody right there. Hi, buddy. You're not supposed to be out there.
Yeah, I don't like that show anyway. TV things, seen that before, but camera acting up, but I am not. Realistic, but kind of annoying. Hopefully, you'll adjust that on the options. Later on. I think I just got a Steam trading card. Yeah, for me. Yeah, I see. Should be my last day. No, oh, that's a creepy. Yep, last day. So, listen, I'm totally wrong. Looks like the short version is basically you can play the game beginning to end. Couch is floating.
I'm gonna stop the water. Okay. Play the game beginning to end, but it doesn't take as long to finish. So I don't know. Um, you guys still like it? I mean, I could definitely play more. Or if you'd rather just see the new stuff, then we can just wait till that. That's creepy. Oh. I have no idea where the safe is. This is not good. In here? Oh, thank you. I don't know why I'm hearing a baby, but that's kind of creepy. Come on, save. Please work. Here we go. This must be the key to the basement. Yeah, I can go to the basement. Hi, good one. They're not open, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the base works. Fine. Remember that. My favorite place. Still here the baby. Don't know why. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Now let's do next. Nope. Oh, on the stairs. She lives somewhere else. No. Uh, I probably should have read that, but too late now, guys. Sorry. Oh, look away. Not 
Okay. Now, should be able to do something with this. Yep. I really don't like the baby noise. Is she there? appears to be gas related and purely accidental, though the matter will be investigated thoroughly by our department. The deceased has been identified as Mattel Clark. Always a tragedy when something like that happens. On a brighter note, the weather on the coast is set to keep the sun shining. Which means, this weekend will be the perfect weekend to go to the beach. And now, here is with sports. Matt Cohen. Okay. I was getting his Twitter handle confused with his actual name. And I just realized my little trivia thing at the beginning was completely pointless because his name pops up right on the press. But if you knew what it was before the credits, good job. Otherwise, it's okay. <laughs> I'm kind of curious why this is the short version. I, I felt like it would have just ended on me. Wow, look at all those inspirations. Definitely Casper, though. That makes sense. I kind of felt like it would have ended on me without seeing this ending. But it was definitely shorter. Hmm. Well, overall, in a general sense, different every time you play it. I can say for sure. Some things, just from playing now, I expected to happen and didn't expect. And I played this several times, even before trying to record it. And being an early access game, I know for a fact he has more planned for the game. As always, if you liked what you watch, comment about it, or comment about the not-so-secret radio host, if you know who he is, and just happy to see who's in there, I don't know. And like if you liked it. This is officially the second game of the next five. Of course, I'm not done with Amnesia yet. But I will be. I figured out what to do. That'll be my next video uploaded. Just hopefully... No, sorry. Hopefully uh, my graphics card will cooperate. <laughs> and... Hopefully I will get something again. Oh, 
Sorry. Mass will start while we're there. But that is paranormal in a nutshell. Wait. To be continued. Oh. Cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. And I look forward to his new stuff, but. Oh, wait. Oh, no! Oh. oh! What was that? Okay. It has never turned blue like that since I played. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that was the error. I mean, obviously something broke, but sorry about that, guys. UDK is a bit unstable like that sometimes. 